Okay, these are various uh, configurations for contactors. Uh, they can be uh, single pole, like this one, where there's just one that goes down. There's usually a bar here for the second side. These would be 240 volt contactors, but they're only breaking one side. And there are reasons for this. There's also cautions to be dealt with in these things. Because it only breaks one side, you still have power coming through here. So if you're working on this, you want to disconnect power upstream of this somewhere. But that's a single pole. This is a double pole. It would be a, also probably a 240 volt contactor. Uh, just has two poles. Three, this is going to be for three phase. Uh, you can do two pole with three phase, but it's kind of similar to this single pole over here in that you still have power to the circuit when you're finished. Here's a four pole. Now the four pole, uh, because we don't have four phase, uh, is usually some sort of auxiliary contact that may run a 120 or possibly a 240 volt circuit independent of the prime mover. But those are the different configurations that you might see uh, in this industry. All of them have their uses. Uh, they're all different uh, amperage loads. Uh, we'll go over the amperage loads on these things in the next video. But those are the different configurations.